you think that the South African government's racial policy is right? I really do, because we cannot mix with the lower nations. It was the one instance of truly structured racial prejudice in the Western world. These were laws that were passed. It was legislated for. You had to venture into a community that was made to be better than you. I would say to my mother, my friends are dying. My friends are being tortured. My friends are disappearing. You couldn't talk to a black person on the street without somebody coming to see what was going on. It was a volatile time. It was a time of conspiracies. 1976 riots came and suddenly everybody was terrified. South Africa was burning. The police had the right to shoot you. Straight away without asking questions. This can't go on. We have no alternative. It provoked our desire to see South Africa become a very different world. One day I'm sitting in the theatre and I see the 16 lights and somewhere something had gone click. It seemed an impossible ideal to find a space where we could say what we like, in spite of what the government was doing. A horrible place in Bloom Street. He said, what do you think of this? I said, I think it's terrible. He said, it's tough. He says, I've taken it. We got really excited about this. It had three floors, and then upstairs it was a rehearsal space. You kind of knew that something, something big, big was going to happen. The space was doing something in a situation that was so dangerous. We didn't care about police. Our work is going to speak to our people. Why do you think we're making a revolution? So they can be out. There were nights the policemen would walk into the theater and everybody would like hold their breath. This is theater the raw. This is and you are scared because you think anything can happen, the police can come in here now. Laugh at your fear and make that fear less fearful. It opened people's eyes. People realized that what they are saying is happening to us. John Carney and Winston Chorn's work with the island and Sisi Bandi, they were astonishing pieces. The fact that those two plays were taken around the world it sealed its reputation. So like the flower that you know struggles against the wind and finally blooms. He was living what would come. The space was living what would come. There was hope, and things that were impossible for me, I saw, can be made possible. So what's new? Here we go again. We need another brand of protest theatre. Vigilance is always needed. Human nature being what it is, there will never be a society that does not need the vigilante.